at the moment, the state of the art, and we believe uh, actually the only antenna in the world that meets these uh, full specification is the x 2. The x 2 is a really magnificent antenna um, designed by Dr. Derek Nitsch. And uh, we've been taking a while to do that because the European customers have been saying they need these type of cross-polarized antennas, but they need them covering the whole frequency band. As explained in an e earlier clip, the frequency band that you need to cover is massive. It goes from 700 to 2.7 gigahertz. And this guy here um, covers that whole band. Inside there's actually three different frequency bands constructed in the form of one antenna, where the one antenna formed the basis of the other antenna. A very nice patented concept. And this allows you, uh, there's this little diplex inside that splits all of the energy to the different uh, internal antennas. And here you can see the two cables coming out. Uh, you can see a very convenient bracket for mounting it at the back, mainly for pole mounting. This, this antenna is certainly designed for pole mounting. We do have a bracket available that allows for wall mounting as well. Uh, the unique aspect of this antenna is that it also gives you about gain between 8 and 10 dBi, um, going from the bottom end, from 700 megahertz to 2.7 gigahertz, and of course, cross-polarized patterns. In other words, there's actually two antennas in one, uh, two of them orthogonal to each other, with roughly speaking about 15 to 20 dB isolation between the two antennas. Uh, really like so, making it one of the only antennas we know of at the moment that covers that whole frequency band at that gain with two antennas. The x 2 has got a very nice bracket arrangement. The first arrangement of holes is really for a more elaborate bracket that you can use for wall mounting and that we've used with many other antennas, but the standard bracket it gets supplied with actually locates onto those little plastic clips that you see there. You then get a metal part that you put over it. You put screws in there and you've got a bracket that is very light weight and easy to mount uh, and you use U-bolts like normal to mount it against the pole.